everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Facts and Stats. We appreciate all of our supporters that we've been having over the past two months. Also, this is your first time watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. We did a little thing that's a little helpful for all of our newer viewers. You can see all of our ads on our screen. So if you want to follow us on our own personal social media platforms, you can do so as well. Also, follow us on Facts and Stats underscore on Instagram and Twitter. Hot topics for y'all today, man. Good news, football, basketball. So we're going to start it off with Darius Geis being released by the Washington football team. Talk to me, uh, Keem. How you feel about that? Honestly, it's stupid on his position. And um, it's like, you know, you damn near millionaire. You some role model. Like, come on, Slim. Like, you a black man. You know, everybody's looking at that. Everybody's looking at what your next move is going to be. You got to pay attention to that. Right. But the strangulation, the domestic abuse or whatever, it's like, come on, son, you got to, like, you, you got to do better in situations like that. You got to, like, control yourself and shit like that. Look up to him. Yeah, you know look up to him. Like, you don't know who, like, that, that, that hurts some people that he got cut. Mm -hmm. And really, he ain't really get to produce in a league like people expected him to. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And he kind of had a little history, you know, from high school to college or whatever. Kind of like, you know, doing some off things or whatever. And it's just like that, that dropped him in the front. Yeah, that dropped him in the yeah. He had first round talent, but, you know, he dropped to the second round just off mm -hmm. of the LSU. So. Yeah, and it's not like it's not like his stats is good because he only had 245 yards within two years. So it's a fun. Yeah. So what's your yeah. thoughts on it, Keith? Uh, You know, of course it's like disappointing to hear when somebody – like makes mistakes like that, right. you know, especially like people who actually like play sports, like you know how hard it is to get to that level. Like anybody that played a sport that just, it's just like anybody that got love for the sport and see somebody just wasted off of some situations, you know, disappointing. I, I, it's very disappointing because, you know, like he, or like King said, he didn't play a lot, but he did show flashes when he did. Play like week 13 against Carolina last year. He rushed over 120 and had two touchdowns. Uh, so it's it's sad that you know he he never was really able to blossom in Washington now. But you know they're most likely going to be led by like AP uh, Bryce Love, who didn't play last year um, out of Stanford, um, Peyton Barber. So their running back core probably is still going to be a little solid. Um, just not as what I wanted. It's not as what they wanted, of course. They wanted the young back, you know. Right, 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 right. Because so. Darius was supposed to take over for AP. So, AP supported, that that. AP supported that fully. Mm -hmm. so, 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 to take that away, it's just like a big loss, really, in the backfield. So, that's putting all the pressure back on AP for real. You know what I'm saying? Stay solid throughout the year. You know, he's going to be the one back every time. So. Yeah, that's of course. That's true. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch it to, um, I guess we can call it like a beef feud, um, hostility probably. We'll see how they how they, how they they check each other tonight. Uh, Jimmy Butler, TJ Warren, as you see, as you see back on Instagram in uh, January or so, Jimmy Butler highlighted a game for March 20th and said, don't be mad, you can't guard me. We'll see about you in March. Um, we know now it is August 10th. You know, the right. pandemic yeah. happened. They finally playing each other tonight. What's your thoughts? You know, who y'all got winning the game? Do y'all think one is going to lock each other up, drop each other? You know, what? talk, talk to me. I got, I got Jimmy locking, locking them up. I'm not going to hold you. I got, I got Jimmy locking, locking them up just for the night. You got Q and uh, King calling him Bubble TJ, though. So, you know, like. Hey, Bubble Go. Not Bubble TJ, the Bubble Go. Bubble Go. So, I don't know who going to win. I feel like I think Jimmy got to win because, like, He's like the biggest star, so you kind of gotta like, like if you really an all star and you get into a feud with somebody that's hot, you, you gotta check them or else. Yeah, no question. Like the media is gonna go crazy. Like let Jimmy mess around and get boomed on by T.J. Warren. It's straight to Bleacher Report. Yeah. And T.J. Leader scorer. Yeah, T.J. Leader scorer the, uh, the league right now. So if, if Jimmy shut him down tonight, that's a big, it's a big step. TJ yeah. dropping 30 on Jimmy. Mark my words, he dropping 30 I, on I, Jimmy. I just, want, I just want them to bring some action to it. Like, I ain't saying I want them to get into a fight or nothing like that, but I want to see a little stuff, you know. 
I want them to be right. about what they were saying on Insta, you know, social media. You know, I can't wait. Yeah, to so, so, trust me, whoever has the better game, it's gonna be it's gonna be problems. That's gonna be some playoff, playoff atmosphere. I want some playoff atmosphere in there. Yeah, yeah, most of that. I want to see them talk. Mm-hmm. Cause they they eventually might see each other in the playoffs this season. So they can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to see him do that. <laughs> Take back to college a little bit. I love to see him do that. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then what TJ doing, man, it's not like he's a spot up shooter. He can actually dribble and, and shoot from the three like that, man. He, no hey, I'll try he all around. He can score from the top, the top of the key, the corner, the wing. Hey, he can score Look, from any angle. You see Q background change. He ain't want to support the Lakers no more. They on a three game losing streak. <laughs> <laughs> they on a three game losing streak. You look. Yeah, he has a Laker background, all that up now. You know what I'm saying? So it's, a whole, it's a whole different team without LeBron, man. He probably, he probably it. We all know that, though. We all know that. So. We chilling. We chilling. We chilling. Starting. You don't want to be. I understand y'all chilling, bro, but you don't want to be on no losing streak headed into the playoffs. The playoffs only a week away. And you telling me y'all chilling. Y'all, so you telling me you content with what's going on right now. What's going to change? Bro, first of all, we gonna get better as like the playoffs go, especially like when they get, when some of the teams gotta leave the teams that's not making the playoffs once they leave and everybody gets some more practice time in the gym and all that type of stuff and just more games like we we the number one seed so we playing the eight seed like can't no eight seed beat us even with how bad we playing now because we not losing to no eight seed like what what eight seed gonna beat us. LeBron, 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 LeBron not gonna allow it, but it could happen, you know. So the, I don't, what I don't if y'all say LeBron happen. not gonna allow? What if Dame? What if y'all meet Dame and Dame just not gonna go like that? Like Dame just not gonna allow. I mean, Dame is I cool. just, I just gonna, gonna be Dame gonna get his buckets, of course, but at the same time, we all know once LeBron log in, he can log in. Come on now, it's, it's a wrap. True, but really, look, so you say y'all gonna? I'm not saying I'm not saying Lakers gonna lose first round. I'm not saying that at all. But Q, you just said y'all gonna get better over time, like throughout. So isn't the Clippers gonna get better over time? Who who's getting Montrez back? Isn't the Rockets gonna get better yeah, over time? Who's getting Eric Gordon back this week? Like, ain't the, isn't the Nuggets gonna get better? Who got Jamal Murray back? Still waiting on Gary Harris. Like, ain't those teams gonna get better as well? So what make what separates the Lakers? Like, that's what that's my question to you. What separates the Lakers? Well, I remember what LeBron was doing in 2018 and when he right last now. time talking about right now. no 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 but listen like LeBron every time he walks in in the playoffs it's a whole different level we, we've seen this for the past decade now once LeBron hit that zero dark 30 that's a different man so I just remember what that LeBron was capable of and then you know watching my team all year I got I got faith in my team that's all it comes down all to. Right, so, really? Okay, Q, let me ask you a question. Because you're telling me what you seen from LeBron do in 2018. He missed the playoffs last year. Now, what did you see Kawhi do last year in the playoffs? The whole playoffs? It, it wasn't it wasn't zero, it wasn't zero dark thirty. It was cool. It was like, cool. You know, it was a, it was it was a, a great run. It was a great <laughs> run. It was making history. It was, making history, that it was cool. It wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't zero dark thirty though. He holding the trophy up. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, he holding the trophy up. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, he actually held two trophies. Nah, yeah. it, was, it was it was a great. Yeah, yeah. Was he a great beat run. Greek. He beat Benning and B. He beat Curry. What, what do you mean it was cool? It was cool. It just wasn't zero dark thirty. He got a three. Like, it was That was like that was like one of the best like playoff runs I've seen. In a while, so, really. So why are you shouting out zero exactly? But why are you shouting out zero dark thirty? But the last time we seen zero dark thirty, he got swept in the finals. I mean, so, I mean because he still he got swept. That's what it's all about, though. But, but, but you can't just leave the context out of it. Like, like KD, that Golden State Warriors team had the lead on lock. But you know, ever since they got together, they had the lead on lock. Nobody else was winning. LeBron was really the only one really like playing them in the finals yeah he was literally the only one that played them in the finals so it's just like and then we've seen him run through the east too in the east we say the east of course is a weaker conference but it isn't so weak to where like lebron running through it for eight straight years isn't like impressive so you know i just like he got swept by the warriors but he dropped 50 in game one like 
Exactly. You got to show that he couldn't be stopped. Man. Go ahead, King. Hey, Ever, hey, right. hey, Ever, Ever, I got, a, I got a question for Q. So, Q, if Portland makes the AC somehow, you think y'all sweeping them? Or is it going seven games? It ain't going to seven. It might go like five or six. I, I don't see it going seven. I see it going seven. I see it going seven. Because I, I say this because no guards Lakers got ain't checking D, uh, CJ or Dane. And Lakers got it with the forward, forwards with uh, Kuzma and uh, LeBron. And then you only got one potential matchup, and really that's Nurkic and uh, AD. That's going to be a good matchup. But the guards AD, is, AD is really the, the key. Yeah, uh, yeah he's the lifesaver. He is yeah. the lifesaver. He is the key. So if he don't ball out, then it's not going to look too good for y'all. Yeah, Blazers, Blazers, Blazers yeah. bringing White out off the bench. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. been looking real different. Great, you know. Yeah, he's been looking great. Looking real different. <laughs> he's been looking <laughs> great. I mean, but I mean, we'll see. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to. Yeah, we'll see. I just know if if my team went to the bubble and we got arguably two top five players in the NBA, and we on a three game losing streak right now, just randomly, and we play the Denver tonight, who's probably gonna be another. If if y'all lose again, there's no way you don't tell me on this show. Oh yeah, we on a full game losing streak, but I'm okay. Oh, yeah, hold we got the, the number one you, you, gotta have, okay. you gotta have faith in your squad. You gotta have faith in your squad. I got faith in the entire organization. I got faith in the coaches. I got faith in Brian. All the way down the roster, bro. That's bro, why I'm not really ever, worried. Ever, ever, let's hold on, hold on, King. Let me ask you one more question, bro. Okay. So you got one, one last question. You got faith in your squad. How long have you been a Lakers fan? Um, really since I started watching ball. All right, so, so I'm gonna just say you, you've been a Lakers fan since. I'm gonna just say. At it's least a, a decade and some change. Bro, you have faith in your squad every single year of your life, right? How many rings you seen your squad win in the last 10 years? In the last 10. At some point, you got I faith in reality. No, I, look, look I, of course. You act like it's guaranteed y'all going to win because you got faith. No, I'm not saying it's guaranteed. I, for me, I've been like watching them all year. I just, I just don't think any team is like better than them, especially knowing – what Braun does in the playoffs, and plus having, you know, a, a squad that's been playing good throughout the whole year, except for like this little, this little stint right here, I really feel like they could just break out of it. Cause okay, All right. which, which I just don't, I just don't, I just don't see this little bad streak lasting into the playoffs like that. But 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 you forgetting? Okay, we see what LeBron did in the East. He was running through them really. They sold. The West is different. They's not sweet right. like it's the East because right. Lakers only got LeBron and AD. Right, right. Everybody else is inconsistent. inconsistent. Yeah, so, exactly, exactly. So, and on them. AD been losing three games straight on the court. LeBron only been taking all, but AD still on, been on the court. And they still lose. He ain't really doing anything. That's facts. That's facts. Let's not forget, with the Pelicans, so AD wasn't really doing nothing either by so. so. Um, but, bro, a lot of teams got so many pieces, bro. Right. I got faith in my team, but I know they ain't going to go no Dude, far. Our, p- our piece has been showing out. We got the number one. Who been record showing out? In, Who been showing out in the bubble? In the Bruh, in the bubble. We talk about all, the, we're not talking about what happened in January, bubble, February, and March. Like, we talking about right, right, now. right now. It's all right now. It's all right now. Right now. Right now. But it's so many other things to go off with. It's just the bubble. Like, just because we in the bubble now, I'm supposed to get the whole first, like, 75% of the season. So, who was going off in the, who was going off in the first half of the season you were referring to before we switch to the next topic? Shoot. We were playing good as a team. You know, so, LeBron what happened now then, Q? Thing. What happened now? Why y'all not doing it now? <laughs> hey. We just not we just not there yet. We just not there yet. We in a little run. That's why like, that's what I'm telling you though. Like sometimes teams just go in the little runs that don't last that long. But that's what that's I'm saying. What happened before don't got nothing to do with now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live in the moment. That's why the Clippers is gonna take them. They gonna wipe them out. And I like that I like that take right there. I love it. Clippers is gonna wipe them out. We 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 ain't gonna hey, we ain't we'll gonna see. stay on the Lakers though. We ain't we'll gonna stay see. on the Lakers. We're gonna go ahead we'll and go um to the next topic. Damon PG played the other day. Uh, literally missed key free throws to lose the game, and Patrick Beverly, you know, and Paul George making fun of him on the sideline, you know, oh, yeah. saying Dame time, Dame time. Mark, talk to me. How you feel about it, Mark? You're not checking Paul George. Paul George barely not even checking you, mainly the game. So I don't know why you're doing it, John. I understand he put him out in the Thunder, you know what I'm saying, last year. But I know I know the Clippers is going to put them boys out, because even they do play. 
if that match ever happens. You know the Clippers are going to put who the Blazers out? Yeah, if they that ever happens, if that match ever happens, yeah. I mean, they got Kawhi. I was just about to say, would that be because of PG? Like, no. Nah. Yeah. To, if you it move could, Kawhi man. from that team and it's just PG in the squad, Dame is putting them out. No question. Yeah, it could be, though. They don't want no, no parts of Dame. I, I want PG to check that man the whole game. You, you don't do. want to see that. He just gave PG 50 last year. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see that. He just gave him 50. I want to see it. He just oh, gave PG it. and your team 50 last year to send y'all home. That's cool. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about right now. And all the time, Russell Westbrook was checking him the whole game for a bro. Oh, Paul George stepped up at that last second. That last that second, second was a bad game. memory. Second. He shot that joke from 50 feet away. And his daughter's going to see that in 10 years from now. That's cool. But at the same time, I want Paul George checking that man so he can lock his ass up. It sound good. It sound good. King, King yeah. Q, anything on, on that little, y'all think it's going to be I say Paul George got the worst luck going to somebody in the last second of the game. <laughs> Say that. He, he's just got the worst luck. He a good defender, don't get wrong. He's he a defender, a, he's exactly. A great he's a defender. two-way player. He's but it's like the last player. second shot is just like guaranteed now he knows going in. If he check if he checking you on the last second shot, like, just know. Yeah, that's what Think about it. If you if you're a defender, yeah, you gotta check the best more. score. You gotta check the best, you know what I'm saying? Regardless. So he's gonna be there regardless every time. That's his hands up each time, his hands in the face. So go go down and go down. That's facts. That's facts. Okay. Ain't it's still doing. funny. But at the same time, it's a regular season game. He ain't really right. knocked the, the Trailblazers out in playoffs, really. So, right, right. PG really can't talk too much. He really can't. PG can't talk to Dame. It's that simple. He can't yeah, talk to him. He can't talk at all. He bro. can't talk to him. Right. He can't really time, talk. At the same time, Dame can't check PG. So, what is, what is the problem? No, it's not about Dame checking PG. It's about a respect thing. PG shouldn't say two words to him. He shouldn't say he's going home this year or not because he just sent you home, bro. And like Dave said, exactly. y'all boys is running from the grind, switching teams like chumps. Yeah. Exactly. That. This man did a whole a whole secret trade. You know what I'm saying? With, like, with come on, man. Kawhi and the Clippers did a whole secret trade and did. Think about it. They both from LA, so of course you want to play for your hometown. You know, bro. He wanted to play for the Lakers, bro, nah, not the Clippers. Man. He wanted to play for the Lakers. Exactly. LA. That's cool. He wasn't thinking about the Clippers till I say Kawhi Exactly. 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 Like, Kawhi Reed. Like how you do a secret? How you get sent home like that and then run a, run behind your team back and do a secret trade? Exactly. Hey, I don't. I don't. I wasn't I happy. Mean, at the same you time, get you, get, you get a better chance to get a ring. So I ain't mad at and it. And that's why I respect Dame because Dame is only what thirty or something like that. Like he still got a good four or five years left in him. You know what I'm saying? Like like he said, boys running from the grind. Stay down. Hey, but he ain't gonna win in Portland. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't disagree with that, bro. I really can't. I can't either. I can't well, that's what I say. We can talk about. I mean, we got players. We, we got players that did worse when you know they lose. I really teams. Can't disagree. I, really, I like. I really like what Portland got. They just really get hit with the bug the worst way. Yeah, yeah. Right. the injury bug the worst way. Like they didn't have Nurkic the whole, all playoffs last year. You know, like oh, Zach Collins. I don't think they, they, they had. They don't really got no. They don't really got no championship squad though. Even when they are, <laughs> they're not getting no rings. So he get. We've I seen respect a team the team win a championship with a not a, a. Well, no, I'm gonna take that back. I ain't gonna say that. I respect. I respect that he got the, the loyalty thing with the team. I, I'm, I'm all for that. But at the same time, bro, we know you're not getting no ring. I feel like I if, if they were to win it, it would have to be like one of the one of the 2011 Mavericks type. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah. I literally was just about to say that team, bro. Like they didn't have that good of a team either. Like they just had a star player and a lot of good. They players. was the three seed. Bro. Bro. You know, I was literally just about to say that, bro. But I was like, nah, let me let me hold off on that, bro. That's how I look at it too. Yeah. They had a different mindset though. I, I like I like the Mavericks back then, but I don't think the same team in Portland is going to do that. I, I just feel like, they got they got some I, feel like I feel like this. I feel like Dame Dame need to. Y'all don't respect Dame Harden to me in here. Oh, what? I, oh, I, bro, I, 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 I love Dame, Dame bro. I think Dame loves him a little bit. Since he was a rookie, I, 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 I can't deny that. I can't deny Dame being. I can't deny that. I like that. I love his game, bro. I love, you know what I'm saying, in and out, you know what I'm saying. He can shoot, you know, go inside. I love all that, bro. But at the same time, I know you're not getting no ring of balls. So, so you might as well step. <laughs> the, last, <laughs> the last topic of the episode, um, the West Stannis, or or more so like the 8th through 12th seed, is heating up. You know, Grizzlies, Blazers, Spurs, and Suns. Um, before we talk about this, though, Pelicans have officially been eliminated after they lost yesterday. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Zion lovers. Where the Zion lovers at? I know bye, you. bye. Zion <laughs> you know, lovers um, at? Lonzo played mm-hmm. terrible all throughout the bubble. They, Zion was on a weird restriction, um, sitting games out, you know, so. You know, hopefully the Pelicans, well, I know they're going to come back better next year, but that's besides the point right now. Who y'all got ultimately getting that 8th and 9th seed for that playoff, that play-in spot? Well, I got the Blazers fitting in because the Grizzlies, you know what I'm saying, once they lost Jared John- Jackson, so I feel like they're going to drop off real quick. And they keep losing games at the same time, so I think the Blazers are going to take that spot. I, I, honestly, yeah, I don't think. Up... Go ahead. I, uh, I'm about to say, I honestly I think the Grizzlies ain't ready, really, especially with the Jerry Jackson laws. Like, I think it it would better it would be better to see Portland. I like Portland to take that eight spot. Really, I agree. I wish I wish, wish Suns could have yeah. yeah. like you know been in it, but they 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 too many games behind for real. Even though they undefeated in the bubble. Nah, but it's, that that don't mean nothing because the Suns and Blazers both got yeah, 39 losses, right. so that don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's but they like they, they, like they won out. They game 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 you said what? No, they like that. They like a half game, I think. Yeah, so no, it's a game and a half. That was a game and a half. Yeah, game and a half. The Suns are they, they can Two still, games, yeah, well. they can still make it though. Like, they can't lose, don't get me wrong, but they really do got to go eight and up. Like, um, but just right. look at it. What the Blazers they had the Mavericks and the Nets, you know, uh, the Nets should be a win for sure. I don't know if the Luka and Porzingis are going to sit on the uh, uh, Blazers game, but then the Suns they have the Rockets and the Jazz. Uh, you know, so I'll, you know, it's the Spurs. You can't, you can't even, you got to speak on the Spurs too. They got 38 losses, so they can definitely still get that 8 9 spot. So it's it's tough. Ultimately, I would love to see Dame and Devin Booker go at it because I do not want to see a John Morant with no Jackson. Uh, that right. team yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see. He's not going to, he's not going to take off the way you want. Right. Like, yeah. But I just don't like want to see Rosen without LaMarcus Aldridge. Don't get me wrong. Like, Derek White is playing good basketball. DeJounte Murray, Kelton Johnson. You know, they're playing good basketball. They got a great coach, mm-hmm. but. What will really bring excitement to that bubble is Dame and, C- Dame and Devin Booker, head-to-head, yeah. AC, whoever's going to mm-hmm. acute eyes lose to the Lakers. Let's, let's, not, let's not forget, <laughs> to, I forgot, let's not forget Carmelo Anthony. We are forgetting about Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, yeah Melo balling out. I forgot all about Melo, Most definitely. Most definitely. Oh, yeah, Melo, yeah. Most definitely. Melo. Most definitely. Melo is See, balling. That's why I want the Blazers to get that spot, bro. They're going to give Lakers problems, bro. They're going to give him yeah. problems. Yeah, you gotta, hey, you Melo versus LeBron. LeBron. Melo LeBron. Yeah, I think I'm just Melo versus LeBron. I thought, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for coming out on this good episode of uh, Facts and Stats. Make sure y'all follow us on any social media platform, Twitter, Instagram. Like, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, watch out for the um, podcast on Anchor as well. Y'all can check that out. Yeah, man, we out for the day.